The ETH Zurich iChain team 2010 developed an approach to remotely control the movement of an individual E. coli bacterium. The concept of e-lemming is based on chemotaxis, which describes the ability of cells to sense and move towards or away from a gradient of an attractant or repellent. The attractant or repellent binds to the methyl accepting chemotaxis proteins, MCP. The signal is then conveyed via an elaborate regulatory pathway to QY by adjusting its level of phosphorylation. Phosphorylated QY, QYP, can bind to the flagellar motor complex and induce a clockwise rotation of the flagellum, which in turn results in tumbling of the cell. Unphosphorylated QY cannot bind to the motor protein. The motor protein keeps rotating in its default counterclockwise direction and induces directed movement. The project aims to artificially control the amount of free KYP available for binding to the flatular motor and thus controlling the movement of a single cell. This is done by reversibly localizing KY via light-sensitive proteins, LSP. A pulse of far-red light induces dissociation of the LSPs. Free KYP can then diffuse through the cytosol and bind to the flagellar motor, thus making the cell tumble. A pulse of far-red light induces coupling of the LSPs. KYP is localized within the cell and cannot bind to the flagellar motor anymore. The cell moves directed. This system can be used to force a cell to move towards a certain direction. Initially, the LSPs are dimerized by applying a pulse of red light. KYP is removed from the cytosol and cannot bind to the flagellar motor anymore. The cell moves directed. However, at some point the cell tumbles anyway. A pulse of far red light inactivates the LSPs and releases KYP into the cytosol. It can therefore bind to the flagellum motor, which results in an increased tumbling frequency. The bacterium tumbles until by chance it gets on the right path again. A pulse of red light removes KYP from the cytosol and the bacterium moves directed again. In order to automate the process of assessing the bacterial movement of the e-lemming and applying corresponding light pulses, an information processing pipeline was developed. The imaging module processes images taken with an automated microscope and determines the path of the e-lemming. It passes the information on to the controller. By comparing the input of the imaging module to the desired direction, the controller determines the corresponding light pulse. This enables the user to observe the e-lemming on a screen and by tilting a joystick to force it into any direction.